Hey guys, what's up? This is Castro5661 and today we're going to be reviewing TweetDeck. Now, TweetDeck is a Twitter application. It's a relatively new one. It came out in the App Store on June 15th, so it's been out roughly four days. And um, it's a free app in the App Store, so if you guys like this review and you guys want to check it out for yourselves, you can. Now, when you open it up, you get this home screen page. Now, you see you have this. It looks like your little, like, when you open up Safari and you have multiple pages, you can scroll through them like that, and it also that's what it looks like right here. At the bottom, you have your updates. You can refresh it. You could also refresh by shaking it. Yeah. See, you guys saw the little. Let's see if I could get it to go. There. Well, it refreshes really fast, so you guys might not have been able to see it. You have add column. You have your settings, and you have more. Now, you, what you can do is you can click on here, and it'll zoom in. You have all your friends' tweets. You can write your own tweet up here by clicking the little yellow square button. You can write your own new tweet. There you go. You can put a snapshot picture in, a link. And what does this little button stand for? Profile location. Okay, I never used that one before. Now... You have this little, you see this little arrow right here? You can press the arrow to go to the side and it'll take you to the next little page that you have right there. Now if you press this button, it, screw, it um, zooms out. You could also scroll through them like this. You'll notice at the top right here is a little settings button. And you can either delete the comment, you can choose the refresh rate, the page order, and close. I like the page order like that, so we're going to close it. You just move them side to side. Right here, the these are the presets. You have your all friends, mentions, and direct messages, DMs. Okay, now let's go to the bottom. You can go to updates. If you click on updates, no new updates for me. I already showed you guys what refresh can do. It just refreshes your tweets. Now, add a column. Right here, you can either you can add column columns. Now, and you could also scroll through your different Twitter accounts. Now, I only have one Twitter account. There it is, if you guys want to know. And um, if I had another one, I would hit these buttons. After signing in and saving the into the settings, you could just scroll through your different Twitter accounts by hitting the side buttons. Column type, you can add a user group, Twitter search, the friends, mentions, direct messages, those are already added in there. Favorites, let's add the column favorites. See, it just adds the favorite column. I have no favorite tweets. Now you saw how that worked, though. So that's basically what add column is. You can, where is it on? You could add user groups, and you could select the users right there, the group name, Twitter search, add the search term, and then you could add the column. We're going to cancel because we're not doing that. Now you have your settings right here. Here you have manage accounts. Now this is where I was talking about. You can add a Twitter account so that when you can you can flip through your different Twitter accounts relatively easily. You can sign into an account right here, and you can even set up an account straight from here, straight from TweetDeck. So I thought that's pretty cool. Now right here we have settings, the settings inside the settings. <laughs> you have auto correction for when you're typing and auto capital. Cap I'm sorry guys, I'm having a little trouble with this word capitalization um, for when you're typing out your words in your in your tweets. Picture service, you can either use TwitPic or YFrog. I use TwitPic. I like TwitPic better. Okay, so we go down. Sound enabled, when you get a new tweet, you can enable the sound. Growl enabled. Um, show real names. I choose not to show the real names. I'd rather have their usernames. And you can shake to refresh. That's what I was trying to show you guys earlier. That you can shake it to refresh it. So let's go back. Hit account settings. And let's close the accounts and settings. Now you have a little more button. When you go to more, all it shows you is quick follow. You can click on quick follow, type in the Twitter screen name that you want to follow. Say you want to follow me, Castro5661. You type that in there and you'll quick follow them. If you guys like this app, go ahead and get it. It's free in the app store. It gives you quite a bit of selection in what you can do. It's a relatively easy interface to 
to learn. And that's the app, guys. It's free. Check it out. Also, on a side note, guys, I have um, I have ordered a few products from a few different companies that are coming in. So I'm going to be happy to get those reviews out to you, those unboxing videos, and giveaways. I have more giveaways coming up, so subscribe to my channel. If you're, if you're not already subscribed, subscribe. Rate, comment my videos, and um, stay tuned because I have quite a few things going on. Quite a few things on the way over here as we speak. So yeah. Alright guys, um, also, check out my giveaway video. I know it, I put it in every every video that I've made since the giveaway to check it out. Check it out, guys. Get in on that. And yeah, Castro5661. Peace.